Today's question is, why was Moses not allowed to enter the promised land? In this video, I'll answer that question from a biblical perspective. And afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. In Numbers chapter 20, verse 8, the Lord told Moses, Take the staff, and you and your brother Aaron gather the assembly together. Speak to that rock before their eyes, and it will pour out its water. You will bring water out of the rock for the community so they and their livestock can drink. Numbers chapter 20, verses 9 through 11 records Moses' response. So Moses took the staff from the Lord's presence just as he commanded him. He and Aaron gathered the assembly together in front of the rock, and Moses said to them, Listen, you rebels, must we bring you water out of this rock? Then Moses raised his arm and struck the rock twice with his staff. Water gushed out, and the community and their livestock drank. The Lord was displeased with Moses' actions because you did not trust in me enough to honor me as holy in the sight of the Israelites. You will not bring this community into the land I give them. Numbers chapter 20, verse 12. What did Moses do that warranted such a severe penalty from the Lord? First, Moses disobeyed a direct command from God. God had commanded Moses to speak to the rock. Instead, Moses struck the rock with his staff. Second, Moses took the credit for bringing forth the water. Notice how in verse 10, Moses says, Must we, referring to Moses and Aaron, bring you water out of this rock? Moses took credit for the miracle himself instead of attributing it to God. Third, Moses committed this sin in front of all the Israelites. Such a public example of direct disobedience could not go unpunished. And fourth, it seems that God had intended to present a type of Christ in this circumstance. The water-giving rock is used as a symbol of Christ in 1 Corinthians 10, verse 4. The rock was struck once in Exodus 17, verse 6, just like Christ was crucified once, mentioned in Hebrews 7, verse 27. Moses' speaking to the rock in Numbers 20 was to be a picture of prayer. Instead, Moses angrily struck the rock, in effect crucifying Christ again. His punishment for disobedience, pride, and the misrepresentation of Christ's sacrifice was that he was barred from entering the Promised Land. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content. And check out the details section below this video. There's two books I recommend along with several related articles. If you'd like to learn more about Bible Munch, or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers and will help you find them.